it smells so good in here. Because Jordan's been working hard. All right, you were telling us what a Cuban is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I jumped the gun a little no, bit. That's all right. You're it excited. was a tease. Now yeah. you can tell us. Okay. I wanted to get you excited. Uh, yes, yeah, so I believe Cubans were actually invented in Miami. It's traditionally uh, pulled pork, ham, um, yellow mustard, and dill pickle on Cuban bread and pressed. Okay. Uh, so we took some liberties and did a whole grain mustard. So it has a little spice to it and sweet pickles. Uh, and then we have limited space in the ice cream shop, so no presses. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you just uh, oven? Is that kind of your, your yeah. oven? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have like nice. a turbo oven that we do everything in. And this is a, a newer menu item, right? You it guys, is. Yeah, yeah. we actually um, just added this along with a buffalo chicken, a club sandwich, potato wedges, uh, some other savory options to go with the sweet stuff. Okay, very good. So you're going to put something together for us? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, I'm always with loving these kitchen like, So when are you going to start getting some? <laughs> <laughs> so right. we're going to do the ham down. How did you do the ham? What did you did you? Uh, so I just put it in the oven. So typically we throw put it all it together. The oven is mm -hmm. that what it is? Yeah. Oh, it's just the heat oven. it up. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, it gets warm and you can cook stuff in it. You know, I. <laughs> and again, I, I, I've never used <clears throat> the oven except for <laughs> storage. You sound like me. I'm, <laughs> only, I'm not a chef storage. at all. So we'll uh, we'll do some Swiss cheese, uh, okay. which is also on your traditional, and we put it on ours. Typically we'd melt that a little bit. We'll do some whole grain mustard on the top here. Whole grain mustard. What makes it a whole grain? What is that? Oh, so you that see, little, yeah, you can see the, uh, the whole grains. grains. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit spicier, a little too. Spicier? Like you're like, okay, I like spicy. Yeah, almost kind of like a uh, horseradish kick. And a little, like, not spicy, okay. like numbs up your lips, but like clears out your sinuses a little bit. Okay. And then the uh, sweet pickles are a nice compliment for it. So, yeah, we'll pretty much just throw we that out. We love our together. pickles. I've had people ask me, go, everybody in India, whenever you get a dish, they put pickles yeah, oh, with you gotta it have pickles. all the time. Whether it's a tenderloin or hot dogs, it doesn't matter. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. you got to do the cross section there. Look at that. Look at that. What a pro. Very nice. Very neat. What Big is on in, yeah. the, the oh, chocolate nice. mousse known for? I'm gonna go ahead so we're known for our premium homemade ice cream. It's 14% okay. butter fat. Uh, and we're actually <laughs> celebrating our 90th anniversary this year. We date back all the way to 1933. <laughs> I've been slaving over the oven. I'm sweating. I can't help yeah, it. That's, it's called sweating over the oven. There you go. There's, some, there's a picture from, when was that? I mean, yeah, so that was the penguin. Uh, we were called the penguin from 55 to the uh -huh. mid 80s. Uh, and you saw in that window, it said blizzard 25 cents. So we actually had the blizzard before Dairy Queen ever did. Really? Uh, and then they just had better lawyers than us. So uh, <laughs> now we call it a blizz and it kind of is what it is. But that's our old stand. It got torn down in 2016. Uh, that's myself with our owner, Justin Loveless. Uh, yeah, we're still at that same spot in that brand new building. Perfect okay, timing. Nice. Uh, have some apartments above us, but now we have uh, inside seating, uh, bathrooms, some things that you, you know, the stand didn't have, but yeah, we're fortunate yeah. to have now. You okay. guys have your own claim to fame, having been around for 90 years. But there are a couple of really cool stories you were telling me that also is that little claim to fame. What, what were one one of those involved Michael Jordan? Yeah, absolutely, the GOAT. Yeah, yeah. so when he was in Bloomington in 1984 for the U.S. Olympic trials when uh, Bob Knight was a coach, uh, Sports Illustrated profiled him, and twice it mentioned in their profile that his favorite spot to go to in Bloomington was the Chocolate Moose. Get out! Oh, I know. How so if it's, that? If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, I, I met Michael Jordan once. Oh, wow. Him. Oh, yeah, for the movie um, Air Jordan, and uh, uh, it was great. It was great. He's very, very, very classy. He didn't mention that to me, though, the chocolate movie. Yeah, was I didn't prompt yeah. him the right way. We'll pay him more money next time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a problem yeah. for him. <laughs> also, one of Indiana's native sons, John Mellencamp, Ooh. has a little connection, too, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it was a very popular meme a few years ago, the sucking on a chili dog. Yes. Um, so when he says that line in Jack and Diane, uh, in the music video, it's actually that old stand that we showed. Uh, they're, they're sucking on chili dog outside the chocolate mousse, not the tasty freeze. Uh, so That's we awesome. still do a homemade coney dog, homemade coney sauce. Uh, it's an all beef dog. So really? I think we might have the most famous coney dog in the world. Wow. That is awesome. And you're, you're based in Bloomington. Yeah, we have two locations two in Bloomington locations. and okay. uh, one in Brown County as well. All right, very nice. How's so, that, how's that taste? It's so good. Oh, you're that, sweating. I know. Well, listen, that brown mustard, <laughs> whole grain got me breathing a little bit there. Uh, the next time we, we're over here with you, it's going to be Randy and Patty, but you're going to make some banana splits. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, that's what we're known for. we that, got to do some ice cream while we're here. That's oh, like your go-to yeah. if people show up. It's either the Blizz or a banana split. Right? Yeah, if I got all A's on my report card, that was the only time I got a banana split. <laughs> right so uh, I won't check your guys' grades. We'll make you one regardless. Good, because oh, I nice. barely very nice. made it out of school. <laughs> uh, awesome. Thank you so much.